I may kindly be permitted to begin my speech in Canada because I am heading Canada Chandana Channel. Canada alone gade yade. Samara mudali kone onagi irubar do anta. Matna arda on kone onagi irubar do. Hage madhya mane khoda ga uta ko kone on irubar do anta. Jote ge mane liye na idre hutte idre dodda onag bar do anta. Yoto nan sthiti hage ge de yakanre. हन्नों दिन घंटे के प्रारंभ आगेर तक कंठ है ये समारंभ बड़ा अच्छा कटी नली प्रारंभ आगेर तक कंठ है समारंभ इगा वंदु वरे आगे दे यार यार डे खत्म नहीं शायद है हसुए आगे दे यू शुड नॉट एंड यू शुड नेवर स्टॉप ए हंगरी इंडियन माय डियर डिग्निटीज ऑन द डायस और माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स the attention span today has become hardly eight to ten minutes. I'm going to finish my talk within eight minutes. Respected Sri Prakash and Manish Kotari Ji, His Excellency Nabuaki Yamamoto-san, Sri M. N. Vidyashankar Ji, Sri Harish Ji, Sri Manohar, my friend, philosopher, and guide. Who is responsible for my presence here? Sri Anandram, Sri Jainji, Sri Chandra, Srimati Chandraji, Dr. Chandraji, Sri Bharat, and Sri Kiran, members of the most respected teaching staff, very proud looking parents, and above all, the real chief guests of today's function, my dear graduating students of ISBR Business School, who are going to be the movers and shakers of tomorrow's world. Media represents society and its aspirations. I represent media. On behalf of media and on behalf of the society, first and foremost, I give my warm greetings to you all. It is with mixed emotions that I'm standing before you to accept this great award. The first emotion, of course, is feeling of pride. Because you have conferred this award earlier to likes of well-known bureaucrats and entrepreneurs, Sri Jairaj and Sri Srimati Madhura Chhatrapati. The other feeling is fear about my capability to meet the expectation that comes along with the honor. Initially, I thought I would emulate action hero Harrison Ford. <laughs> he prepared one short and one long speech while accepting an award. The short speech was, thank you. And the long speech was, thank you very much. <laughs> However, ISBR Business School has kindly bestowed upon me the most prestigious award of eminence for outstanding achievement in public service. I would like to speak a few more sentences to do the justice to my newly conferred award. I have faced several challenges right from my childhood till date, and I firmly believe that because of those challenges and problems, I am what I am today. My birth itself was a challenge. I lost my father when I was hardly eight months old. The whole society thought that I was a bad woman, but today I converted that into a boon, and today everybody said they are proud of me. <clears throat> I would not have been standing before you today since those challenges over a period of time. It became a practice for me to eat up challenges and obstacles for breakfast so that I would relish my lunch with success. It is said, the win to win, the desire to succeed, and the urge to reach 
your full potential are three keys that will unlock the doors of your personal excellence. Unfortunately, there is only one set of master key which cannot be duplicated. Today marks a very important day in your lives and a milestone in the long and challenging journey of your life. By your sheer hard work, dedication and determination, you have achieved the high standards and, honed, and have earned degrees and awards for yourselves. It is definitely a moment of pride, not only for you, but also for the teachers, family, and friends. As Tom Brokaw once said, you are educated, you are graduated. Your certificate is in your hands today. You may consider your certificate as a ticket to good life. But let me ask you to think of an alternative. Think of it as a ticket to change the entire world. This day is extremely important because this occasion is an indicator that shows to the outside world that you have imbibed the skills and absorbed the values needed to deal with it. Graduation does not only mean now you are eligible to make a living, but it is all about how you are going to live. My dear students, today you have got the certificate from the University of Mysore. That is not sufficient. You have to get the certificate from the University of Life. When you get the, get, when you get the certificate from the University of Life, then the hard work put by your parents and you, you and your parents reach the meaningful height. Therefore, please, I repeat, please, do not walk where the path may lead you. Go instead where there is no path and leave your trail. Let others follow your footsteps than following others. I'd like to have water, please. <coughs> Let me quote Winston Churchill, who said, success is the ability to go from one failure to the other failure without losing enthusiasm. To accomplish great things in life, to become successful, you must not only act, but dream. Open your eyes every day to wonders, new wonders. Keep your ears unplugged to the wise words. You should not only dream, but plan. Not only plan, but believe in your plan. Not only believe in your plan, but act. I'm absolutely sure each one of you have different dreams and aspirations. These dreams to become reality needs a lot and lots of dedication, determination, and of course, the perspiration. You will have to drive yourself to a higher level of achievements every day. During a year's tenure of mine in Japan, I lived for about nine months. That's how I speak basic Japanese. And of course, I sing Japanese song called Hana. I came across the wild world Kaizen, which I'm sure that His Excellency understands. Kaizen in, Jap in Japanese means continuous improvement. You need Kaizen to realize your dream, achieve success in life, and stay successful throughout your life. <clears throat> Measure your success not by the wealth and fame, but how successfully you solve your problems. Because passion for achieving excellence will not end by procuring a graduation certificate. Rather, I would like to say this will be the starting point of your journey. Life is full of uncertainties and challenges, my dear students. It is full of uncertainties and challenges. To be successful in life and to face never-ending never challenges that life throws at you, you need to learn, practice, learn and practice. 
According to me, there are seven steps to success, be it anything. Step one is see, step two is learn, step three is practice, step four is revise, step five is practice, step six is practice, and step seven is again practice. You, the beaming and, <coughs> and graduates, are still at step two. You have a very long way to go, but do not be afraid, my dear friends. Every expedition of thousand miles begins with a single step. Cheer up, you are at the second step. It's always better to be first-rate version of yourself than the second-rate version of somebody else. Better listen to your inner voice and pursue your dreams than hearing outside noise and unwanted pictures. You are the captains of your ship and masters of your soul. Take advice of the elders and not the criticism. Take the motivational factors and not derogatory words. In this context, I have a story to tell. There was a race amongst the frogs that who will reach the 20th floor of the utility building of Bangalore? <laughs> frogs, big and small, young and old, he and she jumped, hopped, and ran across the floors. By the time they reached the fifth, many were tired and collapsed. All the spectators said, none of the frogs you will even cross the 10th, forget about the 20th floor. One crossed the 10th and all frogs clapped. But the cynic said, it may reach the 12th at the maximum. Some more frogs were also joining the leader frog by the time when all frogs reached the 16th floor, the media man commented, the media man. They have crossed the Guinness Book of Records and they will collapse. At 18th floor, there were experts who said no frog can ever cross this floor. Never in the history it has happened. But one frog crossed 18th, 19th and reached the 20th and created a new world record. Thousands and thousands of people clapped. But this frog, which has created the history, did not respond. Did not respond to the flashes of the cameras of the television, including the private televisions. Did not, nor answer to the press queries. Then an elderly frog, which came to the elevator, joined and said, this young frog, which has created a new world record, is my son. But unfortunately or fortunately, he is born deaf. Fortunately, because he could achieve this success because he was deaf to your comments. <laughs> had he been <coughs> had he been a normal person he would not have dared to climb the height he would have been hafted by experts comments and the media opinion <laughs> he is unfortunate because he does not know to hear your claps and your appreciations. I remember Swami Vivekananda's words. In India particularly, when you achieve something, the first thing people, including your friends and your well-wishers, your family members, will, the first, what, what they will do the first is they will ridicule you. The first thing they will do is ridicule you. When you do not care, then they will start accepting you. When, even whether they accept or not, you don't care, then they honor you. 
then not only they honor you, then they start worshipping you. When you go outside the world, we should emulate the deaf frog. We should carry on, not heeding to any negative influence. We should not get carried away with our success either. This great institution, I must say, would have prepared you to take pride and spite in your stride. I'm sure this temple of knowledge has prepared you with the latest and best possible techniques in your chosen area. It has prepared you to face and be a part of the exciting and fast changing world of opportunities. It has prepared you for the future, success and individual glory. While individual success is desirable, it is not complete till it becomes socially useful because I represent media with the social responsibilities. New knowledge that you have gained today should be useful to your family, to your society, your state, and to your country. When I say family, I see a lot of bright, elderly faces in the august audience. I've seen accompanying you when you are receiving the award. I have a piece of advice to my young friends who have graduated today. Your parents have done child raising and babysitting for almost 20 years or so. Now those babysitters have a feeling of self-satisfaction nearing to self-actualization. That their beloved son and daughter have achieved something special today. It is the time for you, you guys and girls, to think of some written gifts. Value your parents' sacrifice. My dear students, today you are being educated at the cost of your parents. You are being, you are being educated at the cost of the innocent, poor Indians because everybody cannot afford education like you. And respect their feelings, love them, and, and do never be ashamed to serve them. Because another 20 years down the line, you will be sitting in your parents' seats and will be, it, and will be witnessing your children's graduation. Therefore, young graduates of ISBR, I wish you all the very best as you set out to imprint your footmarks in the sands of time. I wish each one of you find your own path towards success and achieve fulfillment. Arise, awake, stop not till the goal is reached. Thank you.